This question on summations is taken from statisticsmentor.com. Here we have a list of expressions involving summations. Now the summation sign is used when we wish to add a list of terms together. Imagine that we have a uh, hundred terms to add. We can considerably shorten and make neater such a thing by using summations. Let's work through these questions. This reads, add from i is 1 to 5 uh, this term. Now, I find it helpful here to solve it to use the table. I have a table here of two columns, the counter i going from 1 to 5 in steps of 1, and the term i plus 1. Let's complete the table. Well, when i is 1, this term here is 2, being 1 plus 1. When i is 2, the term here is 2 plus 1, 3. When i is 3, the term becomes 4. And you can see that the remaining terms are 5 and 6. The summation sign here says that we add up a list of numbers. That comes to 20. So 20 is the answer. Let's consider another one. Here we have add from i is 1 to n. n is a number we don't know, so we just call it n, the, val the term 2. Here's the table. i here goes from 1 to n. When i is 1, this term here, which doesn't depend on i, remains the same, so it's just 2. When i is 2, this term here, again, doesn't change and so on. In fact, the whole column is of twos. To get the answer, we add up the values. Well, the column of twos. How many twos are there? There are n of them. So the answer is 2n. Now, I hope you can see that by using a table, um, it makes the calculation of summations very easy. My students don't have a problem with single summations they have problems with double summations. So let's move on to that next. OK, we also see double summations in statistics. Here we have uh, sum from i is 1 to 2 and from j is 0 to 1 at uh, this term, i plus j. Now this time, my table looks like this. It's a 2 by 2 table because i goes from 1 to 2 and j it goes from 0 to 1. How many values are we going to add together? four because there are four cells. I've already completed the table. Now, this is how I did it. When j is 0 and i is 1, uh, this term i plus j will be 1. When i is 2 and j is 0, i plus j will be 2. And so on. Adding the four values, we get 8. So by using the tables, it's not much harder than the single uh, summation case. Let's try another. Here we have summation from L is 1 to 3 and the summation from M is 0 to 1 of L to the power M. What I've done in this example is I've used L and M instead of I and J. I just want to show you that the labeling doesn't really matter. Here's the table then. L goes from 1 to 3 m, 0 and 1. This cell here, l is 1, m is 0, it's 1 to the power of 0. l is 2 and m is 0, 2 to the power of 0. And l is 3, m is 0, 3 to the power of 0. Recall that any finite number to the power of 0 is 1. So all these are 1s. This row is straightforward. We add the six values together. Answer is nine. OK, so it's a piece of cake. Now, at school, we will see a uh, single summation. At university, undergrad level, we will see single and double summations. But we can generalize the number of summations. We can have three, four, five and so on, 
uh, number of summations. Now I don't want to wait you to wait till you get to your postgrad or PhD to see uh, more kind of a higher level summations. So let's finish off by looking at a triple summation. What we have here is summation from I 1 to 2, J 1 to 2, K 1 to 2 and the term is I plus J plus K. Now this time my depiction of it, the thing looks like uh, a shopping mall. I have two floors arranged by K. So when K is 1 I have I and J. It's a 2 by 2 table. Uh, and Likewise when K is 2. How many values do I have to add together overall? I have 8. Let's pick one of these cells. Let's pick this one. How do I get 4? Well this cell corresponds to K is 2, J is 1, I is 1 then I plus J plus K will be 4. This one. This cell here corresponds to K is 1, J is 2, I is 2, I plus J plus K will be 5. And so on. So we have 8 values we add together to get the answer uh, um, which comes to 36. Uh, 36 is the answer which coincidentally is the number of Olympic medals won by the US team in the Beijing Olympics. So that's it. If you want to see some more go to www.statisticsmentor.com If you wish to discuss uh, what we've just been through here uh, click on the link in the description box on the YouTube page below.